a one possession game. But Brady looking for more. Stepping up third and eight. Throws first down and more. Edelman takes the ball to the three yard line. It's going to have a first down and goal. And Edelman bothered by a hit early in the game against Indianapolis. A little slow in getting up. Which I think this is DeMarcus Dobbs drops back in coverage and Brady brilliantly just waits for him to get on the other side of the defensive lineman. Edelman nice read gets right across the backside there of Dobbs huge play. Ball just inside the five yard line. 820 remaining in regulation. Edelman is now for 24 passes in the three postseason games. Green is back in. The fake to him. Brady dances, throws, and it will be caught. Amendola for the touchdown. So New England goes from a second and 18 after the first play on this drive to go 68 yards in nine plays and an extra point away from making it a three-point game. Danny Amendola is... Four is the last throw was from Brady. This one's that good. He just has to work on the other side of Earl Thomas. He sees it. Throw it to the right shoulder. No way Thomas can get there. Woo! <laughs> this game is turning into something Ooh. here. He thought it would. You never know. So did the odds makers, oh, right? Toss up. Just about. Five catches for Amendola. 48 yards. Gustafsky for the extra point. Converted on a third and 14 and a third and eight on that drive. Well, are we still up for a finish? A little less than eight to go. It's a three-point game. And third and five. Wilson sliding right and then throws that one out of bounds. Lynch going down the sideline and incomplete. So it's a very fast three and out exactly what New England was looking for. Well, Lynch is going to do a little out and then up, and really he was wide open. Jamie Collins came underneath that little pick, but looked like Marshawn Lynch just sort of hesitated and stopped. Didn't really believe he was going to throw it to him, I guess. John Ryan, who's averaged 46 yards a punt. You see Amendola backing up as the short man. Points back to Amendola. He'll fall for a fair catch. And hold it into the 36-yard line. With 6.52 remaining in regulation. Brady back. His club down by three. And the foul. Aaron gone Sherman's way. They stand away from him. Much as Aaron Rodgers did on opening night. Brady. And as he throws, caught by Gronkowski. And the big bull takes it to the 32-yard line. They're rolling the dice here. They're putting their big safety, Cam Chancellor, on Gronkowski. Earlier, they got burned with K.J. Wright. You want to go man coverage, and I think a little bit because Shane Vereen's been effective coming out of the backfield. It's had, they've had to change up their secondary coverage a little bit, and right now, Josh McDaniels got it going with this play calling. Brady hung in under pressure. Ball at the 32. Already within Gustafsky's field goal range. Brady will swing it out. Rowen. And there's Richard Sherman, whose girlfriend is pregnant. She's doing about two weeks, but she's here. He's ready to go to the hospital in uniform if need be. Yeah, and Richard was telling us that she said, you go play the Super Bowl. <laughs> so don't worry about me. I've got all that set up if something gets accelerated here. Look at that. Throwing that one time, once. Richard says, you know, it's everything I, I can do to keep from getting bored. Well, I'm going to guarantee he's not bored right now. Mm -mm. Second and ten. A little more than four to go. Brady fires, caught, first down, and again, they go to Gronkowski out at the 20-yard line. Now here it is again. They're just telling Tom Brady, this is man coverage. He's off. 
He's inside. He's looking right at Gronkowski. Everybody in the building that knows anything about football knows that's man coverage. And a thousand percent of the time now, they are going to throw it right there when they get that look. Second and three. Brady to the outside, caught, and that's what fell before he steps out of bounds. He is out of bounds at the six-yard line, and that makes it first and goal with 2.52 on the clock. Now they finally come out of that man coverage and go a zone, but they are really lucky that fell on that one couldn't get himself 71. under control because I think he would have scored. 71 is reported as eligible. 71 is an eligible receiver. Here the announcement. Fleming comes in. The tackle as an eligible receiver. 71. Little Thomas. Play in the middle. Brady looking to the clock. Brady says he'll take a timeout. Play clock was all the way down to two. Top. Brady caught touchdown Julian Edelman came back to it Al it came right back to it down back out worked brilliantly before Brady missed the pass come right back to it and Edelman gets it done no push off, no foul, no nothing. And Tom Brady takes him right down the field. And there again, they go to work on Therold Simon, who took the place of the injured Jeremy Lane. They picked on him early. He got his feet under him, played well for about a quarter and a half. They go back that way again and burn him. Kostowski for the extra point. And that makes it a four-point lead. Meaning Seattle's going to need a touchdown. Last two New England drives. Nine plays for 68. Ten plays for 64. And the Kraft family, Robert and Jonathan. We've seen a few exciting games. Again, you've got a, a close game. Every Super Bowl that New England's played in. The empty backfield. Wilson down the sideline. Lynch makes the catch. And he'll get tackled by Jamie Collins. But that's a big gain. Taking us to the two-minute warning. They still have their three timeouts. Flank Lynch again. Wilson hangs in there. Throws. That's caught. That's going to be a first down. 38-yard line. Ricardo Lockett. And now they'll hustle up to the line of scrimmage. Preserving the timeouts. Under a minute and a half to go. Well, we've seen when Logan Ryan has been in the game, the play right before the half, and now they're coming back to him. Lockett's a guy with brilliant speed, so Ryan has to be careful. Russell in the pocket. Russell for Curse, and it's broken up again. And is it, but somehow, oh, did he wind up with a football? I think Butler hit it, and it fell right wow. back down it's to the ground. Unbelievable. That's so, exactly what happened, isn't right. it? Well, Curse goes for it. It's still not on the ground. It's still uh -oh. not on the ground. It's still, well, look at that. Oh, my God. I can't believe he didn't get up and get in the end zone in time. And then Butler takes him out, so he breaks up the play. But at the end of the day, look at that. Does a juggling act. Has it at the five first and goal, 33 yards. And now, by the time they get down there, the play clock has run out again. Second charge timeout. And Seattle takes a timeout. Seattle. Crazy. How many timeout. different plays are the Patriots going to have like this? Yep. Mario Manningham, David Tyree. <laughs> right. This was, and now a curse. This was where Tyree had the helmet catch. This was the scene of the crime for New England. And Tom Brady had that look on his face like, you got to be kidding me, not again. Here you go back to Super Bowl 42. Tyree makes the catch. Your buddy Rodney Harrison had a bird's eye view. Plexigal Burris winds up 
with the touchdown to win the game and end what would have been a perfect season for the Patriots. They were 18 and 0 coming in. You know, Al, you oh. play 16 games, a couple of playoff games, and it comes down to one tip ball that falls on the ground to somebody who's lying on his back. <laughs> Paul Allen has seen it all, but not that. Look at that. But they're not in yet. And there's Deron Harmon who comes over the top. He had a chance to maybe kick it away. Curse comes up with it. Yeah. Amazing. The yeah. ball to five. Now you have to stop, Marshawn Lynch. Here he goes. Beast mode. To the half yard line. And now New England has to think about taking a timeout. Boy, the last time we called a Super Bowl. Well, I remember. Up on the left. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Malcolm Butler, who almost made the phenomenal play that wound up in Percy's arms. There are flags on the field for a celebration. Amazing. Butler, a rookie free agent out of West Alabama. They try to pick play, Al. They tried to go here, but he beats him to the punch. And I'm sorry, but I can't believe the call. Me neither. I cannot believe the call. You've got Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. You've got a guy that's been borderline unstoppable in this part of the field. I can't believe the call. And there is Brady. <laughs> As demonstrative as ever, and Richard Sherman going, what? I agree with you. I mean, why, why make that call? You're down on the half-yard line. We have unsportsmanlike conduct against the New England bench after the interception. The penalty would be half the distance of the goal. New England keeps the ball. First down. Well, it's, it's half the distance of the goal, which is next to nothing. And now Seattle had to use two timeouts so they can only stop the clock once. And barring complete insanity, and I mean complete, I, I don't it's going to be a win for the Patriots. I, I, I'm sitting here, and I absolutely cannot believe that play call. I, I, if, if I lose the Super Bowl because Marshawn Lynch can't get it in from the one-yard line, so be it. Mm -hmm. So be it. But there is no way. I, I, I don't believe the call. You know, you think you've got it. You think you understand. Other team practices, too. It's uh, uh. so now barring a, a fumbled snap. Well, let's see. Brady's got to be able to get the ball out of the... Uh, so you, you got the pick play. All right. It's a, you know, you think you're going to have it. You think... But why? Uh, you know, how about Malcolm Butler? Gives up the fluke play down the field. Looks like he's going to be partly responsible and makes an incredible play. you got to get it out of here, though. Yep. And, and Belichick will say, make sure these guys fire off. Look at everybody inside. Yeah, Seattle ready to oh jump up now goodness. of all things. If they jumped off and weren't drawn, that'll take them to the six-yard line. But the officials will confer. Michael Bennett jumps off sides more than anybody else ten times this year. And in this critical last chance moment, he does again. Unless he was drawn. Encroachment. And he wasn't. Defense number 72. Five-yard penalty. Go first down. Give Brady credit. He just drew him. They were going total scrum in behind. And Bill Belichick knows after all the heartbreak, we saw it, Al. Tyree, Mario Manningham, fluky plays. This time, after all the stuff of these two weeks. And then a scrum, of course. Here you go, flags. Uh, so you'll have an ugly ending to 
Well, it was a pretty terrific ball game. Well, a lot of frustration out there. And the guys in blue. You know, yeah. from Seattle's standpoint, whatever. From New England's standpoint, you're 18 seconds away from a Super Bowl championship. You don't throw a punch at anybody here. Gronkowski you know, takes a shot from, from Bennett, Bennett, who yeah. I'm sure is frustrated. Then Gronkowski throws one back, and here we go. <laughs> Every once in a while in the NFL, you think you've seen it all? No, you haven't. I, I, I will never get over throwing Third, the ball in that situation. Seattle. Neither will uh, time after the play Seahawks fans personal foul. unnecessary roughness instigator number 51 has been ejected 15 yard yes. penalty automatic first down that is guy was rolling in early October there's a lot of bright sunshine right now in Foxborough and all over New England and after the wackiest lead up to a Super Bowl ever, the New England Patriots are the NFL champions. A lot of respect between those two. Let's go to Michelle. Well, guys, I'm running now with Malcolm Butler. We had him in front of a camera. Get him again, Malcolm. <laughs> I just saw Matt Patricia, the defensive coordinator, hug you, and you broke into tears. What's up? Uh, what happened on that play? Um, I, I just had a vision that um, I was gonna make a big play, and it came true. And I'm just blessed. It was a, I can't explain it right now. I'm just. Can you imagine? Being a rookie and with this team about to looking like they're on the precipice of scoring the winning touchdown, and there you are. Can you describe what's going through your mind? Uh, well, first of all, I just knew the, they were stacked in preparation. This it all come from preparation, and I just knew they was doing a pick right or coming under. And I just just didn't guess and just went and made a play. In it was crazy, man. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, thank you, Michelle. You know, you think about you've got Darrell Revis on one side as, as good as it gets at the corner. You've got Brandon Brown on the other side. And then you go to the other guys like Malcolm Butler, a rookie, Brady and Belichick. And they have certainly burnished their legacy for the moment in this Super Bowl. Four for them in their six Super Bowls since 2001. Well, what an ending. It looks like it'll be busted up. But then Curse comes down with it. Seattle with a golden opportunity to score. Snap coming with a little more than 20 seconds remaining. Then the pick, and New England will wear the ring. Coming up, it's the Chevrolet postgame report. We will have the presentation of the Lombardi Trophy to New England. The first time they have accepted it in a decade. There was Pete Carroll at the end of the game. Super Bowl 49 MVP presented by Chevrolet. All coming up on the other side of this break. <laughs> 